Oh, my... What's going on guys, it's your boy Mr. 75 Complete here with another video. Today gang, we are on our way to go check out a 1989 Chevy Caprice LS Brome, Broham, um, out here near the south side of Chicago. One of my buddies had hit me up that uh, he had this car that he was trying to sell for someone or help him sell it. So he hit me up first. So. I'm glad for that, appreciate that. So now we are on the way to go check it out. I'm trying to beat the sun, I mean the dark, because I like to see it in the daylight. I hate checking out cars at night because we can't really see, you know, everything good. Uh, especially when you're paying good for cars, you want them to, you want to make sure it is what it is, you know, what you want and, you know, that you are paying for what the car is not something that's all rusty or over paying for stuff so but I am in the tow truck and I'm hoping that this car is clean so we can bring it back with us because this was more like a last minute thing uh, I've been out towing cars all day and he hit me up so I'm actually excited to see this car because it does look clean and you guys know I love me a clean old school especially a box Chevy so yeah, we should be pulling up. I think we are like 20 minutes out. So, like I said, I'm trying to get there before it gets dark enough. Because I want to check it out. I'll be able to check it out in the day. So, we're also doing a uh, wheel drop-off. Y'all can see. Gee. We have the 24-inch IROX. They are also going to be meeting up with a potential buyer. Well, I hope he buys them because we got them in the tow truck. And... Probably won't have room on the way back if we get the car, so we're gonna be doing that as well. But enough with the talking game, I'm gonna check back with y'all once we pull up to the Chevy. Well, here it is, gang 1989 Chevy Caprice LS Brome Broham. Start from the front, I can already tell that it's missing the impact strip so my guess from looking at it uh, the bumper actually looks very shiny so when you actually buy brand new bumpers aftermarket they do not come with the impact strip so you will have to actually buy that separate so that might have could have been what happened in this situation because I believe this car came from Cali right yeah Cali. Cali. yeah I think this car came from Cali I mean, that doesn't explain why that bumper got changed, but I think front and back bumper got changed at one point because the car looks like it's been repainted also. But here it is, gang. We got the Volt tires. Are these real Volts? Yeah, right? Yeah, real Volts. Real Volts. And it looks like the car is sitting up high or higher than stock suspension. I almost wonder if it has air shocks or something you guys see the back bumper as well it's missing the impact strip so but it does have a nice shine that's the only reason I might think that these bumpers are brand new and that's the reason why they don't have the impact strip you know this thing got uh, air shocks or is it just how it sits I think it does have air shocks Oh, it does got air shots right here. So it probably can go lower. That's a, that's a plus. Okay. You can check the truck. It's going to be right here. Nice. Gas needle works? The gas needle works? Yeah. I'm only asking because there's a gas can there. We got the extra rain guards. I think these are the rear ones because the front ones are on. So the two missing rain guards are right here. And looks like all the carpet is there. Jams look pretty clean. 
stickers are on the trunk. Don't look too bad. How's the undercarriage? Have you seen this or no? Yeah, it's clean. Clean? Should be clean if it came from Cali. So now it's got an Illinois tie, right? Oh, uh, Indiana. Oh, Indiana. Yeah. They got transfer. This almost looks like the one that I had before the 88. That also came from Cali. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it was sitting like the same. And they, this one's tinted as well. It's got like a light tint, right? Light tint, yeah. Yeah, the other one uh, had light. Oh, no, the other one had super dark tint actually. The other one's high as fuck, right? Yeah. yeah I think it was the same time where you bought my other one, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These lights don't work? Huh? Those lights don't work? Oh, the, the bumper ones do. Huh? The bumper ones do. Yeah, now I'm talking about the lights hanging right here. Oh, no, no. no. I don't know if I know. Check out the interior though guys. This is very rare to see a um, white 89 with like peanut butter tan interior. And it's got the wood grain. Let's see what's the mileage. Uh, what does it say? 26. It's probably got 126. 126,000 miles. And the dash does got a crack right here. I was gonna say no cracks, but it does have a crack. See them jams though, them jams are clean. Look at them rockers. I think the operas work. It looks like do they work? No, I don't think. Let's see. I'm gonna turn them off and. No, they don't work. <laughs> There's a power option car, power seat. And they do work. That's a plus. We got power windows. Doors not missing anything. Look at them jams. <laughs> Clean. And the light works on the door. Here's the back. Yep, clean doors. And this is why I don't like seeing cars at night, guys, because you're probably going to miss something because it's dark out here. I think this guy tricked me into coming at night. He don't want to he don't want to admit it. <laughs> Oop, it's locked. You see the key works perfect time yep that's nice how you feel about this interior you like it yeah i like it yeah, for some reason, yeah. you know it'll be you more hot like you always see them which is blue or gray, gray i think yeah. gray and blue are like the most i don't know like the other one the one from tennessee that that blue one is fucking Hopefully, right? You know what? You know what's hard? If this seats were leather, bro, the yeah, interior was leather. Yeah. This is hard too. You gotta see it. This interior, all leather, looks super nice. I don't know for some reason they always rust right there. All of them, when you see it, they always tend to have little rust on that door. Always, bro. This one, I mean, the good thing is it's just at the bottom, but it cleans up. I don't know why they all do that. Can you pop the hood real quick? Can't see underneath. Let me see. Oh, you can see the floors. Those floors are clean. Let's check out this big block. Yep, no big block here. Just a 305 5.0, which says right here, 5.0 liter. Pretty dusty. Thing runs good? Yeah. Yeah, you drove it? Yeah, I drove it in uh, for a nursing home. Oh, okay. I, fucking, I was always a Mexican, Mexican dude. You're on this thing? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, 
And the blue one? Yeah. How was that? It was good? You gonna go? No, I didn't go out this year, bro. Something was telling me to stay home. <laughs> I don't know what. You wanna fire it up? I haven't fucking turned on some cartridges. Hasn't been starting Saturday, so this is gonna be a cold start. Should I get my jump pack? No. <laughs> Starting fluid? You don't gotta pump that, that's fuel injected, bro. 89. Oh, okay. Turn the lights on. Yeah, those, you gotta put the signal. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah, put the left signal. See? Yeah. This one's out. This one's out. This one. And this one. That's the reason why you got the arrow. The, the fucking, uh, yeah. Well, guys, what y'all think? Should we add this one to the fleet? You said what? Oh. I mean, it looks good on the camera, bro. I said it looks good on the camera. Yeah. yeah. But I think that's just the lights you oh, have, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. like. Nice presentation. Yeah, he got me, guys. <laughs> well, guys, let me chop it up with him and uh, see if we can make it happen. Well, guys, we made it happen. 1989 Chevy Caprice Alas Brom Broham is going to go back with us to Joliet. And yes, this one will be available soon. And it looks like it's ready to go too. So if anybody's interested, let me know. Check out them bow tires. Nice. Light tint. Nice. Ready? You wanna grab that uh, extra thing you had? Oh. Or just put it in there? Yeah, just put it in there. About to load it up. This thing looks good though. What y'all think guys? Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think of our latest pickup. 1989 Chevy Caprice. Good. Well, guys, we are locked and loaded. Big shout out to my boy right here, Mario, for always. Uh, he's off. <laughs> yeah, he, he's literally always <laughs> offering me the Chevys. He actually buys them as well and sells them. Like I said, everybody's in the same game. Ain't no point of competing. We actually. Funny story is that him. One day with the Landau, <laughs> he had sent it to me the day before I went to go look at it, and he said he was gonna go look at it too. Yeah, it was I was like, "What?" Dude, dude start replying to me. Yeah. I think that's when he called you. See, that was the challenge, guys. So if you guys want to know where the pressure came from, it was actually him, because he sent me the thing talking about let let the man bet the, the best man win. I was like, "Oh hell no!" Uh, I, gotta... I, know, I know you got it once he started replying to me. I was For like, real? Oh, yeah. 
No, because he had already sent me the address and everything. But when you told me that let the best man win, I was like, oh, bro, this guy, <laughs> this guy is giving the address to everyone, bro. And, and then, because all he did was like, all, you know, when you put like, highest still available, yeah, I put I was like, yes, when do you want to come look at it? And I think that's why I sent it to you, and I told him all oh, tomorrow. I had already and talked I, to him like, when you had sent it to me. If you if you noticed in the conversation, I had told you, yes, I'm leaving in the morning. Yeah, yeah. I had already been talking to him. Talking. But when you told me, let the bet, I was like, man, this guy is probably <laughs> one of them people that's giving everybody the everybody same address. Same. And I was like, man. So why do you think the next day I was like trying to get the tire fixed? Next Everything. man, bro, that's why I got in the truck and left. I was like, man, I, I ain't taking no up. chances, man. I was, keeper, I, think. I was like, man, I'm gonna get there and I'm gonna see the car and the e coming the other side of me. I'm like, no, there he goes. That's what he was like, he was all like, oh, oh, no deal when he came out the camera. You seen that? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I understand, like, don't get me wrong, you know what I'm saying? I always usually ask, but the only reason I record also is not just, like, you know, I know some people say you gotta, you know, how to respect people, blah, 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 yeah, yeah. but sometimes for my safety, bro, like, no, yeah, for sure. I don't know who these people are, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, I made it, I made it, yeah, yeah. exactly, you know, it's a lot of money, and I made a joke, like, oh, look, they got, they got signs of cameras everywhere, so it's like, hey, yeah. you know what I'm saying? My like, I, I didn't, I don't do it for the bad, I don't do it to ch show them, you know, it's more like, you know, you never know what their reaction gonna be as far as like you're recording and they're gonna be like, uh, what if they got something bad planned for yeah, you? Yeah. You never know. Yeah, you never so know, man, yeah. guys, I've been through it all. My intention is not to put anybody in a, a awkward moment or none of that stuff. I'm not trying to record them. I don't wanna show nothing of them, really. I just come to see this, a car, make a deal and make it happen and that's all, go home, safe and sound. I'm not here to record the seller. I'm not here to record none of his business, you know? If they wanna, talk about you know the story in the car or the history that's fine but you know if they feel uncomfortable i don't have to record i can always show you guys the car the next day but i mean like i said i do it more for safety than anything just because most of the times i'm by myself and i also want to share the experience with with y'all you know and y'all can see that you know what i'm buying and you kind of you guys can kind of know what i'm buying at the same time so like there's nothing hitting or i don't know it just i think it's pretty cool you know yeah, you, get, you get to see all that yeah you know it's like man i wish you know, like, i wish there was a clone of me that i can just watch and like oh, they got already seen, yeah, it. already seen it hey yo i need that <laughs> car bro come yeah, on down I'll you know it, bro, like. because believe it or not bro like th there's some deals bro that I, I if i sit here and tell you a whole, i can t I, we can be here all night about stories bro yeah I, I i heard stories actually funny thing is i'm away here i pass some apartments right and back, back, back in the day, I seen a Chevy a girl was selling, uh -huh. right? We didn't make a deal for a couple of dollars, which is fine. You know, back then it was different. Yeah. And bro, week later, two weeks later, she started accusing me of they stole the car. No shit. I was like, lady, I was trying to buy the <laughs> car, you know what I'm saying? But man, sometimes, bro, like you never know. So like, I don't know, man, you, you got to think about, you know, things. Yeah. And, and, you know, sometimes it's better to go with your instinct, you know, like. Yeah, no, for sure. So, man, it, it's the same thing. Sometimes I don't buy a car just because I don't feel right or, you know. Like this situation, the reason I'm here because it's late because I know him. We did business before. So it's not like a first time thing. I usually don't do this. I usually never even come to Chicago for a car unless I know the guys. But, hey, man, I knew that uh, it was good business. And like I said, sometimes I record just because you got to see what they're reaction is as far as like if they got something bad you know planned for you yeah you already know yeah you gotta kind of already know so yeah. it's not like this is live so at the same time it's yeah, not like not. you're putting them on blast <laughs> yeah, no. so I don't know man okay, just, yeah exactly you know but I don't know like I said I'm not here to make anybody uncomfortable it's just more like the experience and I'm pretty sure you guys enjoy me showing you guys all these different cars years makes models and condition because where else can you just log in online and shop around for cars like this you can't just go on auto trailer or you could but not the same way you know what i'm saying this is like whoever likes this car they're gonna like this so that's what i do but guys enough with the talking it's getting dark and i'm supposed to be going doing a giveaway so i don't know if i'll be able to make it tonight if not we have to do it the next day but you guys will find that out after <laughs> all right guys shout out to mario once again bye guys Well guys, today we did not get lucky with Chick-fil-A, so we ended up settling for Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. We got too late after meeting up with the buyer of the wheels, and I thought Chick-fil-A closed at 10, but apparently early days in the week they closed at 9, so we didn't make it on time, so I guess... Racing Cane to this.
Whew. Check it out. Look at that nice Chevy right there. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all stay tuned because this one will be on the market pretty soon, guys. So if you guys like what you see, y'all might want to stay tuned on the price and a better video of it once it's daylight outside and cleaned up. So, all right, time to go home.